My dear friend in Christ, there is an incident in the life of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln's secretary for war, Edwin Stanton was one day very angry with the major general who accused him in very abusive language of favoritism. Edwin Stanton complained to Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln asked him to write a very sharp letter of disgust expressing his anger over the general's abusive language. Edwin Stanton quickly prepared a very strongly worded letter and showed it to Lincoln. Lincoln read it and asked, "Now what are you going to do with this letter?" Quite surprised at the question, Edwin Stanton quipped, "What else? I will send it to him immediately." And Abraham Lincoln replied, "Now, it's better you don't send that letter. Instead, put it on the fire." That's what I do when I have written a letter when I'm angry. It is a good letter and you had a good time writing it and now you'll feel much better. Stanton immediately smiled and changed his mind feeling quite at ease. My dear friend in Christ, control anger before it controls you. An outburst of anger is part of human nature and may not be harmful, but remaining angry, angry can lead us to scheme revenge, harbor grudge, plan violence become extremely venomous and cause our own lives to become restless and rid of joy since paul knew of the dangers of remaining angry that is why he warned be angry but do not sin do not let the sun go down on your anger make a room for the the letter to the ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 Saint James also cautioned you must understand this my beloved let everyone be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to anger for your anger does not produce God's righteousness James chapter 1 verse 20 think about this my dear friend in Christ Jesus himself got angry when he saw people turning the temple of God into a place of business he took a whip and drove people out of the temple shouting Why do you make my father's house a den of robbers? But remember, Jesus never remained angry. Jesus and his disciples went out of the city after that. The Gospel of Mark chapter 11 was 15 to 19. My dear friend in Christ, our cities are becoming noisier and there are fewer places of silence. With our televisions and gadgets turned on most of the time and entertainment houses, fun spots and eat outs springing up everywhere we quite often do not find ourselves alone we are losing out on inner silence and solitude and as a consequence unable to take control of ourselves especially of our anger my dear friend in christ we all need to frequently break away from the humdrum of life and retire into solitary places where we can pray at peace before and after every activity of preaching or healing remember Jesus would retire to solitary places to spend time in prayer. It was this my dear friend in Christ that kept him in a calm disposition most of the time. He could handle pressure only by giving himself the silent times he needed with the heavenly father. So think about this. If you are a person who remains angry all the time, break away into silent places. Take time to be alone. Be reconciled first with yourself before you reconcile with others and remember solitude heals solitude helps you calm your anger may the lord give you grace and blessing have a good and godly day